Buckle up. All right. Yeah, we are on the way. This is actually, we are about to start the official bull run. This is like the demarcation point here. We got the Bitcoin halving coming up. It's just in like two and a half hours, a little bit more than that from when I'm shooting this. So that by the time you see it, it's either going to be a little bit closer to it or maybe it just happened. But uh, man, like I've said before, this marks the basically the, the, the start of the crypto bull run officially. So it has been a really long wait for anybody who was in the last crypto cycle, either in native crypto or in grayscale. You know, once we entered the, the bear market, it's been a long time coming. It's been a long time. I mean, I, you know, I, man, okay. So I started making videos on crypto and grayscale last June and it's, that's 10 months. It feels like forever. But I remember prior to that, you know, sitting on my BCHG and LTCN and buying into it, it just felt to me like it was taking forever, like it was dead, like it was never going to come back. And uh, that that's what it takes. I did a video last like September or so, maybe in August, I think I did a, a video where I talked about crypto riches are for the patient. Uh, yeah, you've got to wait. Like you, the best prices are obviously in the bar, bear market if you invest then. Man, it's a it's a long road to to basically get to the bull run, and it certainly feels that way since the last one. Man, it it, it feels like a long time, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait. Uh, you know, it's just like I'm kind of counting the days. You know, to to fall when we see LTC and BCHG take off. You know, and and man, I'm I'm gonna be so excited to put out the video on the day that those trusts start to rocket. It's it, it's going to be life-changing for so many people. And uh, like I've said before, I think this bull run is going to create a lot of first-time millionaires and multimillionaires. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. I hope you are among them. And even if you aren't, because maybe you only put in a little bit, well, you're still on your way. And if you practice good money management habits, you can get to millionaire status and beyond in the next bull run. So don't worry. Um, but yeah, we've got a great uh, a great bull run. I think, uh, like I've said, this is the last great bull run for a lot of different reasons, as I've mentioned in previous videos. I think it's going to be a really good one, way better than last for LTC and a BCHG particularly. Um, and, and actually, specifically for Bitcoin Cash, I think Bitcoin Cash is, I think BCHG could potentially outperform LTCN this cycle, in my opinion. Um, not guaranteed, obviously, none of this is financial advice as usual, but I think it could just because of the incredible upside potential that Bitcoin Cash has. And I, I believe it's going to show through in the BCHG trust. Now we'll see, we'll see LTCN. Obviously, if you looked at ch price charts from the past, it had a better run last cycle than BCHG, but for good reason. And, uh, but I think BCHG and Bitcoin Cash well, they've, they're going to be doing really well. I've got, you know, I'm basically balanced in both uh, BCHG and LTCN, as I've mentioned before, but uh, it's going to be a really good, good bull run. Like I said, I think we all need to make the most of it. You know, a part of that, from my perspective, is making use of trust rotation. Some people don't want to do it. That's fine. But I just see it as a way to like, just magnify gains big time. And I'm going to do that in my SIP IRA in my son's UTMA account and some in my main portfolio. And I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll put out information, you know, on YouTube when that is happening. So like when, when I'm actually doing the rotation, if it, if anybody wants to follow along and you don't have to at, at all, you could just sit in BCHG, LTC under whatever trust you're in and not do a rotation. That's cool. You're still going to make a ton of money. We all are, but, uh, it's going to be super, it's super exciting. It's going to be tough. Like, so here's what, I'm kind of thinking might happen over the coming months, like between now and fall. You know, obviously like Bitcoin should start to do its thing, like rise in price even more. And the altcoins should follow. And to what extent? I don't know, because if you look back at the last cycle, the last uh, just leading up to the last bull cycle, You'll notice in a lot of cryptos that there were some pretty good dips in prices like over the summer leading up to uh, the, the bull run. And it, it's like, well, so we, we could see that again. So expect that if you're in native crypto or in the grayscale trust that we could see a nice pullback, you know, in the summer, at which point, you know, that's a good entry point for people to get into. You know, if we have a pullback, they would have to deal with short term capital gains because 
I don't think they would have a year long to basically let those shares vest for long term capital gains tax treatments, but um, still a good price point to get in. Uh, but but do be aware that we could have that. It's not a guarantee. We might not. We might not see that. You know, we might not see a dip. We might just see like a a gradual progression towards the upside. And that's that's the way it could be. A, that's a possibility. So, but either way, like I expect the launch of LTC and a BCHG probably to happen. I'm thinking earliest, probably end of September. The latest would be, you know, beginning of December. So sometime in there is probably when we're going to see this stuff happen. Based on, I guess, historical runs for Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash and the, what happened last cycle with LTC and a BCHG trust. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. So that's it's, it's not too far off, right? It's not too far off, although it does feel like forever when you're just thinking about what what your gains are going to be and what you could do with with your gains it feels like forever it does but i got to tell you we are so close we are so close and this bitcoin having is a really important thing it's it, you know most of the world the media and the cryptoverse is focused on bitcoin very heavily like what is bitcoin doing and the bitcoin having is a very important uh mark a very important a very important like time you know, for, for Bitcoin people pay attention to that and people get on board. They're like, Oh crap. You know, this is a bull run. I got to get, get myself some Bitcoin or whatever. And as they do that, like that, that's actually what it's the, the psychology of not wanting to be left behind and wanting to get in. That's actually what causes the, the, the bull run, right? That's why the prices go up. So, so much, especially in altcoins. So we're going to see that it's going to happen. And uh, yeah, so, but this is super exciting. So we're right now just a little over two and a half hours away from the Bitcoin having taking place. Nothing magical, I don't think is gonna happen tonight that will just send up Bitcoin and altcoins skyrocketing, no. I think it's gonna take a little while. And, you know, who knows what's gonna happen in the short term. We, we could absolutely see a dump, who, who knows? I mean, with we have a lot of like bigger things in the world going on too, like, Israel and Iran, you know, that's going to cause some issues in the market. But uh, otherwise, uh, it's game on. Like, we're in crypto season, boys and girls. It is officially, we are in the bull run, you know, once we cross this line and we're here. So this is it. It's game on. All right. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys have a, are having a wonderful Friday and have a wonderful weekend. I'll catch you guys sometime in the future. Not sure when. But uh, I'll see you soon. Take care.